Yeah, hi there, and uh, these comments are for uh, a mayor and um, taking a look at your situation. So you say you took the TOEFL IBT before and your result was 67, right? So you say, I know it is so bad. It's not really bad. It's just an indicator of what your current academic English is, right? There's really no passing score for the TOEFL. Now you say, I need to get 95. Is it possible for me? Yes, it is. Now the question is, when do you want to do this? So if you said, well, Michael, I want to go from 67 to 95 in one month, I'd say, no, that's not possible. So you're probably looking at about three to six months of some very hard study before you can reach this goal. This is no small task to improve your score 30 points. You have a lot of improvements you have to make. Now here's my recommendation. I'm going to give you really three specific recommendations. And uh, don't forget, at the end of the video, I do have something really important that I want to talk to you about, okay? And I'll tell you that at the end. All right? Okay, first of all, number one, you want to get in the habit of reading about 45 to 60 minutes every day. Read magazines, newspapers, and longer books. This is very, very important. Again, about 45 to 60 minutes every day. Now, it's not going to be easy at first. You're not going to understand all the words that you see. And don't use a dictionary here. Just read. Just get used to reading and concentrating for longer periods of time. When you see a word you don't know, use the context. That's all you want to do right now. Number two, get in the habit also of practicing listening for about 45 to 60 minutes every day. You can focus on news, history, documentary, and also science programs. Now, Amir, as you're doing this reading and listening practice, get in the habit of note-taking. Note-taking is very, very important for the TOEFL, especially during the uh, integrated speaking and integrated writing tasks. So, uh, using your notes, you can write three academic summaries a week. Each summary should be approximately 250 words. So you're doing about 750 words of, uh, of summarizing each week. It's very good practice. Remember, you're using your notes from the reading and the listening passages. Now, also using your notes, you can do three to five oral summaries each week. So if you just do those two things, first of all, every week, this is about two hours every day, and then each week you're doing three academic summaries and then three oral summaries. This is going to help you with your reading, your listening, your integrated speaking, and integrated writing skills. So you're doing a lot of good practice just by doing those two things there. Now the third thing is start going through my online TOEFL course. This is very important now. I have a study guide. I have all kinds of different study guides, but uh, I don't think I'm going to recommend any specific study guide for you. What I'm going to recommend is, is here's, here's your plan. You might want to write this down. Because once you get to my course, you're going to go, oh my goodness, there's 700 different lessons. What do I do? Where do I go? Here's what you do. Okay, you start with the vocabulary, pronunciation and the grammar sections of my course. That's where you start. Spend anywhere from one to three months just focusing on the first three sections of my course. What you can do is you can start with vocabulary lesson one, then you can go to pronunciation lesson one, then you can go to grammar lesson number one. Once you've done that, then go back to vocabulary lesson two, then go to grammar lesson two, then go to uh, uh, pronunciation lesson too. So just kind of go through that area. Just be very methodical. Start with the first lesson in each of those three sections. Go through all of those lessons in the first three sections of my course. It's going to help you improve your vocabulary, your pronunciation, and your grammar. So once you've completed the vocabulary, pronunciation and grammar sections on my course, then go to the next two sections, the listening and the reading parts of my course. Again, you do listening lesson one, then reading lesson one, then listening lesson two, then reading lesson two. And you want to go through all the listening and the reading lessons. This will probably take you about two months 
two things are going to happen. You do much better with your note taking and, and your listening, and you also do much better uh, with your reading. And specifically, you should be able to improve your reading speed to about 300 words per minute if you complete all of my speed reading tests at my website. This is going to be very important for you. All right? So uh, once you've done that, then you go through my writing and my speaking lessons again. You do writing lesson one, then speaking lesson one. Writing lesson two, speaking lesson two. You'll go through all those lessons until you have completed all writing and all speaking lessons. Now you should be ready. Once you've done that, you should be in pretty good shape for you to reach your goal of 95. Now remember, as you're going through all of my lessons in my online TOEFL course, you're also following my first two suggestions of doing that reading and listening practice every day. You're doing that, and your goal maybe is to spend about two hours in my online TOEFL course going over all of my lessons in the plan that I suggested to you in this particular video. So step by step, one lesson at a time, you can do it. Now, you, you might say to yourself, Michael, there's no way I can complete all 700 of your lessons. There is a way, and you can do it. Remember that a Chinese philosopher once said, the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. I'm asking you to join my course and take the first step and start completing the lessons in my online TOEFL course. Think about it this way. You now have a space. If you join my course, Amir, you will have a space online to post your pronunciation, speaking, and writing practice tests. And you can start getting feedback from me in those areas. A TOEFL book's not going to do that. All right, anyway. Now, in the last part of this video, I wanted to tell you something I mentioned in the beginning. Uh, after about three months of going through my lessons and following my tips, I want you to take a full-length IBT practice test on my website. Now, they're not fun. They're very long. They take almost five hours. But it's important for you to measure your progress. You want to see where you are and how much you have improved. So again, after about 90 days, complete one of my full-length IBT practice tests. Once you're one of my students, you, you can find out about this particular uh, uh, these practice tests by going to the eighth section of my course. All right, Amir. So now, uh, in this particular video, we've gone over the important things that you need to do to improve to improve your score from 67 to 95. And believe it, you can do this.